Hello, hello, Gracious Gang. It's Mike from thegraciousguest.org. Just with you for a few minutes today to share some exciting news. As always, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that. Give me a thumbs up down there. Why not? What does it cost you? You know, I mean, <laughs> it helps get the word out about the channel here and all the great uh, interviews and, and uh, other content that I'm trying to put out helps get this in front of people. So I really appreciate that if you could do that. Uh, today, I just want to jump on here for a second and share some exciting news with you. Um, and it occurred to me that since this channel has really grown a lot uh, in the last year or so, uh, that some of you may not be aware that in 2020 I actually published uh, a little book. It's basically a little devotional book. It's right here. Uh, it's called Return of the Lord, Narrative Reflections on the Apostles' Final Moments. I have it linked down below if you want to check it out. And um, I'm sort of doing a shameless self-promotion here uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this. Um, and I really want to encourage people to, to check it out. Really what it is is a, uh, a product... Of, uh, of of love and um, just inspiration that, that I was very blessed to receive uh, in prayer. Um, and this is a recurring thing, but really to, to try to imagine how the apostles in particular became the men they were. Because, you know, they didn't start off as heroes. They start off as just completely regular average guys in, in, in a lot of ways. And there's nothing particularly special about them or, or, or hugely courageous about them. Nothing that maybe those uh, around them growing up would have imagined would fill them with the fortitude, the commitment to go so far as to suffer, in most cases, terrible, uh, even torturous death and martyrdom rather than uh, renounce the gospel and, and turn their back on Christ. And, you know, that always blew me away. And I found myself sort of imagining these scenarios, you know, of, of their final moments and that last temptation maybe to uh, turn on Jesus and to abandon him. Um, and really in a lot of prayer and in front of the Blessed Sacrament, most frequently I would sketch out these um, elements of these little reflections. And I know enough about church history to have, you know, had a good start point with a lot of the um, the best traditions we have about what happened to each of the apostles and where he was when that happened, the, the general circumstances, and uh, some more than others. But I really uh, did a lot of study, you know, in the background too. And I, I picked away at it for a long time. And I finally published this back in 2020. You can see it's pretty small. Uh, and it goes through um, in not particularly... Um, any, you know, order, but it, it, as best I could guess, really, in some cases, based on the traditions we have, a, a pretty reliable uh, chronological uh, order, or at least a, a possible chronological order of, of when they died. So uh, beginning with St. James the Greater, the son of Zebedee, and ending with his brother John, kind of bookending their deaths. Uh, John, later in life, uh, is my, my last chapter there. And there's just a lot of really um, interesting, they're not really long chapters, a couple pages long. Um, and the idea is that you can read these, you can read the whole thing pretty quickly. You can read them, um, you know, on St. Feast Days. I include in the back here uh, the Apostles' Feast Days, you know, for you in the back there. And um, just something I wanted to, to mention. Some of you are aware of this already, but many of you may not be. So feel free to check it out, uh, the link I have down there. And the announcement, last thing I'll share with you here on that same note, is I've had this uh, plan for a long time, but I'm finally uh, going to buckle down and do it. I've already started, basically, um, almost halfway there. But I'm making it into an audiobook as well. And uh, at the time of this little video announcement, there's a ways to go yet. I'm planning on really finishing it over the summer. It's difficult to <laughs> do things like that when you're a high school teacher, but then you have you know some time in the summer to catch your breath and get caught up on stuff and prepare for the next year, but also to work on some special side projects, which I always enjoy doing. So I do have some writing that I'm going to be doing over the summer, but uh, I do plan to get that audiobook done. It's the first one I've done. Uh, I'm doing it myself. Uh, I think with my background, I think I can pull that off uh, hopefully pretty effectively. I like the, the sort of draft recording so far. It's not exactly an audio drama, but I'm leaning that direction, <laughs> basically. Um, and so I, I put a little little bit of performance into it as well. And um, I, I, I've gotten some good feedback so far. So I'm really excited just to announce that to you. And if you're catching this video after it's been released, you'll see the uh, the link down there, God willing. 
for the uh, the audible or audiobook version as well so um anyway just wanted to give you guys some updates on that encourage you to please check this out uh, if you've already read this um i, I thank you very much i have tr just truly humbling amazing feedback over the last couple of years but i want it's been a while since i've pointed it out to anybody or really done anything to kind of um get the word out there about my book return of the lord narrative reflections on the apostles final moments so god bless you guys thanks so much for hanging with me for a few minutes here today please share it um with somebody if you think they might benefit from something like that it's a great uh, a great gift for people especially if they're looking to just go a little bit deeper into their uh, devotion with uh, with regards to the apostles and then try to follow their example uh, of love for christ that took them all the way to to their deaths and ultimately into the glory of heaven so Thank you guys so much. God bless you all. A lot of great stuff coming up in the next few weeks and months. You're going to want to stay tuned. Believe me. So don't forget to wonder. Take care.